Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where we show you the exact tools and resources we use within our real estate investing business. Today we're going to dive into Podio and we're going to talk through some of the features and show you some quick, simple, and easy Globy flows that can help you run your business a little bit better. We're going to be looking at project management and uh, we have a sample here that we're going to look at for a rehab or a bunch of rehabs that we have to manage on our calendar. All right, and we're going to specifically talk about a relatively new feature within Globiflow, which allows you to uh, distinguish your items by color. All right, so we're going to dive right into this, but basically, I'm going to show you how we can um, set up different colors for our projects so that our calendar looks nice as, as far as different colors for the different pieces we have to do, and then how we can use Globiflow to um, set it up so we can automatically update those colors really quickly and easily. All right. So what I have here is I have a schedule app and then I have a projects app and they're naturally connected. So if I go into one of my scheduling items, it's got a relationship field to the project. All right. And also what I have here, and you can't see it because it's hidden, but if I modify the template, I have a hidden field called calendar color. All right. And this is the newer feature within Podio where we can take a category field and you can make it uh, the color for your calendar all right now it has to be a single choice multiple choice wouldn't work um, and what I do is I make this always hidden and that's because I'm going to use Globy flow to tell me what color everything should be okay so basically what I've done here is that each deliverable within the schedule is going to have a color However, I want the color to be driven by the project, okay? So I want everything that's in a project for 264 Union to be the same color. And that's what I'm going to use Globy Flow for. So right now, all of these items do have different colors and it's working out nicely. But I use Globy Flow to get there and I'm going to show you how to build that flow so that we can have the color drive, uh, or we can have the project drive the color. Now the first thing I'm going to do is in this project, you see my layout, I don't have the color of the project here. Let's go to the project. I have the same exact field here for calendar color. Now this one I want to be visible because this, as I change it on my project, I want my deliverables to update. Okay, so this one will be visible, but I also want it visible within um, the layout as well. So if I go to projects, the first thing I'm going to do here is adjust the layout of this for when it's referenced. So we're going to go to layout options, the reference layout, and down here, instead of the start and end date of the project, I'm going to bring in the calendar color. And again, the reason for this is I want to, within my deliverables, I want to be able to update the color of all of them at once. Okay, so if I go to one of my deliverables from the schedule app, you can see now we bring in this calendar color for the project. And what I'm trying to get at, what I'm going to build today in Globiflow, is when I change it here at the project level, I want all of my schedule items to update in the calendar. All right. So let's go to the schedule and let's have this set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how uh, we can change the color with Globiflow. Okay. So let's go into Globiflow. <clears throat> and basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a few really simple flows. The first is that. Um, whenever I change the project color at my project, I want all the schedule items to match that. All right, so I'm going to create a new flow within my projects app upon update, and we're going to name this item updated change color. All right, so what field is updated? Let's see here. Let's find calendar color. Okay, so whenever I update the calendar color within my projects app, what do I want to happen? I want to update all of the referenced schedule items. Okay, so remember we have a link between the two. Every schedule item is linked to a project, okay? So I want to update all of the work blocks, I'm calling them, instead of deliverables. And what do I want to update? I want to update the calendar color field. Now remember, this is a hidden field within my schedule app but Globiflow can go find it and update it. And I want the calendar color value to equal the project calendar color. Super easy. I want this to be a silent um, action. I don't want to be updated about it, okay? 
And I don't need it to be a hook event. We'll talk about that later. That's it. That's as simple as it gets, okay? So that's the first one. The other one we're gonna do is at the schedule, when I create a new schedule item, I want it to go grab the color from uh, the project. <clears throat> because that field is, is hidden, I wouldn't have a way to do it as a user myself. So whenever a new item is created, I have to first get referenced items. I have to go get the project. This is a forward relationship. And then I have to update this current item. So remember, I just created one. I want to make the calendar color equal to the project calendar color. All right. And that's it. Okay, so let's put this into action and let's see if it works. All right, so in theory, whenever I update the, the calendar, the project color, all of my deliverables will be reflected. So let's take long, for example. <clears throat> so, and if I filter this down, <clears throat> you see that this project long is blue. All of the deliverables are blue. And that's because if I go into one of them, <clears throat> you'll notice that at the project level, it's blue. Now, what if I change it to light blue? All right. So I just, at the project level, change it to light blue. And if I were to refresh my screen, hopefully in the background, Globiflow is working on changing the color of all these things. And there you go. All right. So you see that all of my deliverables for this project long just changed to light blue. All right. And I can do it again. Let's change it back to blue. It's not going to go right away. You usually have to refresh and it'll, you know, take a few seconds, but Globiflow makes it awesome and makes it happen pretty quickly. You see it's starting here. So this one's blue, this one's still light blue. It just hasn't quite gotten to all of them yet but it works pretty quickly. It's obviously a lot easier than going in and manually changing the color of all these deliverables, all right? Um, so it works out pretty nicely. And then if we add a new one, so I'm gonna add a new uh, work block here. I'm gonna pick some project, and you see that this project has yellow for the calendar color. Okay, and let's put it, let's make it a week long thing. All right, so this one's gonna hit our calendar July 17th. So here it is, it's currently green, that's the default, but if we refresh, it should go ahead and take on the calendar color uh, of that project, which was yellow, all right? So everything you create from then on will match the color of your project. So that's a little workaround that we can use to um, take full advantage of this really nice feature that Podio's got in there, is to uh, use Globiflow to link the two together. All right, so um, that's pretty much it for this one. I, I will recommend that you check out this calendar layout within Podio. It's really nice in that we can take pieces and it's interactive. We can click and drag them and move them um, throughout. We can also make them longer or shorter. And then of course, as we click, we can go into them and, and adjust the, um, the status and everything and then filter them in and out, all right? So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want any follow-ups or if you're trying to do something with Podio and can't quite figure it out, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to uh, either reply or post a video reply for it. And in the meantime, Check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. Thanks.